Desde sombras inexplicables hasta objetos que se mueven solos. Bienvenido a Doctops. Estos son cinco perros que vieron cosas que sus dueños no pudieron ver. Número 5 Un hombre llamado Matt Stevenson dice que su perro Roxy desarrolló un hábito nocturno muy peculiar después de la muerte de su gato negro. Cuenta que cuando su gato vivía, siempre se acostaba en lo más alto de las escaleras y que mordía o rasguñaba a Roxy cuando pasaba por ahí. Cuando falleció el gato, su perro Roxy podía subir las escaleras tranquilamente, pero solo por el día. Por las noches, el perro solo subía las escaleras caminando de espaldas. Debido a que solo hacía esto por las noches, es posible que haya sentido la presencia del gato aún merodeando el lugar o esperando a que pase por ahí. Poco tiempo después se mudaron de casa y nunca más lo volvió a hacer. Número 4. Este video proviene de Reddit, donde un usuario publicó que recientemente se había mudado a su nueva casa y que desde entonces ha escuchado sonidos extraños por las noches y que a veces las cosas se mueven por sí solas. Algunos dicen que el perro reaccionó un segundo antes de que cayera el objeto y que ya tenía la mirada hacia esa dirección. Otros dicen que simplemente reaccionó rápidamente y que solo fue simple casualidad. Número 3 este video fue grabado por Jake de la Rosa mientras se encontraba en su patio con sus dos perros. De repente, uno de los perros empezó a comportarse de manera inusual, saltando a cada momento, intentando atrapar algo que no se ve o no está ahí. Minutos después, algún tipo de espectro que parece una niña corriendo pasa justo al frente de la cámara pero desaparece a los pocos segundos. ¿Es un fantasma agitando al perro o una simple broma? Número 2 Una tarde, un joven llamado Zach Clark se encontraba en casa jugando con su nuevo perro Zoe, cuando de repente este empezó a actuar de manera muy extraña. En el video, el perro parece estar intimidado mirando fijamente hacia una pared. Después empieza a hacer gruñidos, a ladrar y hasta retrocede el miedo. ¿Qué es eso, Zoe? Looking 
afraid to look. There's literally nothing here. The only explanation is it's a ghost. <laughs> like seriously, there's honestly no one here. I am literally home alone right now. <laughs> look at this. What was she looking at? She keeps looking over there. La semana siguiente, el perro de nuevo empieza a comportarse de la misma manera. What are you barking at, Zoe? What is it, Zoe? Dude, no way, not again. Dude, she's looking over there again. What the heck? I hope it was just the fridge turn turning on. Lo que le llamó la atención al dueño del apartamento es que años atrás en ese mismo lugar, su padre había sufrido un infarto, por lo que fue llevado en estado inconsciente al hospital donde murió horas después. Número 1 Hace algunos años, un youtuber llamado Kaylin Speaks subió un video donde mostraba como un tacho de basura metálico se encontraba en el pasillo de su casa. Cuando revisó la cámara de seguridad, vio algo bastante extraño. Okay guys, so right here I got the camera that caught everything on tape. This is the hallway right here. This is the doorway for the office. And like I said before, nobody was on this floor. So I'm about to play this clip. And I just want you guys to think while you're watching this. Does this look right? Now I'm gonna play it one more time for you guys so you can have another look. Now I'm not gonna lie, my first conclusion for this was that I put a plastic cereal wrapper in there that the cereal's in the night before. She's a greedy dog, she was trying to get in it in the morning, there's no one there to disturb her and maybe she can sneak something, try and get something and her foot knocked it, she got spooked by something and she ran out with it roughly the same time. So I'm gonna rewind it for you guys and I'm gonna pause it and show you guys why I don't think she could have done this. Right here. Like you guys just saw, the bin and her came out at roughly the exact same time. In the last clip, for her to push it, she'd have to be behind it. To get that much force on it, for it to hit all the way across the hallway and to hit that hard, she'd have to be behind it and hit it with her nose or her, her paws if she could somehow. But she's not, she's right beside it. And look, she's running, she's hauling ass out of the office. She's scared, Something, this thing's being thrown at her or at her direction and she's racing it out. You guys saw how fast she ran out the first two times I showed you. Does this look like a dog that knocked this bin out? En el video, parece que el perro estaba buscando comida en la basura y que sin querer empujó el tacho y se asustó. Cuando la gente empezó a cuestionar la veracidad del video, Kellen subió otro explicando esto. Right, so this is the area right here. This is where it all happened. You're seeing it from a different perspective now. For all those people that were so curious and could never see, this is what the doorway looked like. Yep, this is how narrow it is. I can barely fit through this myself with my arms out like this with the camera. Look, it's already shaking. This is the office right here. These two chairs were exactly how it was three years ago. We don't really change our setup. It's been the same furniture in this whole house. Same paint colors, a lot of you guys can tell, same everything. Right, nothing's changed really. This is the bin, that's infamous. I don't even want to move it, because if I move it, Sandy's so close, she'll hear, she knows what I'm doing already, and it's a wrap, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So this is the bin, this is where it was located three years ago, almost three years ago, here we go. Yeah. That's what happens every time since that day. Even before that day happened, for people that know about dogs, she's a small dog. 
they're scared of vacuums, anything around their size or bigger, anything that makes noise. They're not really too into that stuff. They only play with, play with little toys. She's a Cocker Spaniel mix with Poodle for the people that care, and she will not come out from them. So she's scared crapless right now. She doesn't know what's going on. If I shake it and I make noise, she runs some more. She's gone now, she's behind there. Like, like literally, like, all right. Now, if she did hypothetically move this bin, she'd have to get it from underneath here, through here, past here, this tight area here, something like either like this or on the side, get it here, and I've tried doing this so many times, I have to have two hands on it, humanly possible, to get it as close to it rolled in the video. And I still can't get it perfect. That bin rolled and got pushed so perfectly across the room, like it, it takes a lot of skill as a human to literally do that. I can't even lie to you guys. Now, that's pretty much what happened. Coincidencia o algo sobrenatural, tú decides.